Hey folks, it's Laura with Rain Tree Nursery and look at this monster apple. This is King Edward VII. This is one of the largest apples that we grow here in the orchard. This was originally introduced in the early 20th century, 1901, from Britain. This was a cross, it's always hard for me to remember this, between Blenheim Orange and Golden Noble. This is one of the, considered one of the finest winter apples. It stores incredibly well. Very nice for spring apple pies or apple sauce. It is a very large apple and it comes on a compact tree. The tree doesn't get too large and continues to get better producing as it gets older. This is going to be a treat. I've never tasted this apple. It's I don't know if it's going to be very good for eating, especially, you know, this early in the season. I mean, it's late for picking apples, but it would be early for eating this, but we'll see how it is. Mm. It's got a nice thick skin. It's juicy, very firm. Reminds me of Enterprise. Yeah, when I taste this, it's kind of very mild. I'm going to bet this flavor will develop really nicely in storage. So once again, if you have a homestead or you want to be able to spread out your apple ripening from early to mid to late season ripeners, go into the garage in January to pick out a fresh apple, then King Edward VII would be one you'd want to look at. Thanks for joining us. It's Laura from Rain Tree Nursery and King Edward VII.